donc après cette pause euh, et nos premiers échanges, donc on retrouve maintenant Kate Maurice en, en visio depuis euh, Londres. Alors vous verrez donc les, les éléments de l'intervention de Kate Maurice sont traduits via le QR code. On vous mettra donc, on en va l'afficher si vous voulez euh, suivre. Voilà. Je vous laisse un temps si vous voulez le faire. Et ensuite, on retrouve tout de suite Kate Maurice. Good morning, Kate. Morning. Merci. Um, do you have my slides or would you like me to share them? Can you repeat, please? Um, la, présent, la présentation, je l'ai, moi, um, mais je l'ai déjà, déjà envoyée. Uh, oui, oui, oui. Alors, oui, oui, on a. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait? We got it. Vous, vous l'avez. Hein. We, we, voilà. We can, we can change uh, the slide. We deal with it. Merci. Um, <laughs> Je, euh... Alors, euh, euh, je vais vous présenter en anglais, mais je voulais dire quelques mots en français avant de commencer. Um, je m'appelle Kate Morris et je travaille à l'OTCOM, euh, l'autorité régulatrice euh, des télécommunications au Royaume-Uni. Euh, je me concentre particulièrement sur euh, comment évaluer les initiatives d'éducation aux médias et à l'information plus connue euh, sous le nom de MIL. Um, je vous remercie de m'avoir invité à ces rencontres. Um, mais alors, uh, maintenant, je vais vous parler de la boîte uh, à outils d'évaluation de l'OFCOM en anglais. <laughs> Désolé. Um, alors, uh, um, if we can start the slides, is that okay? Ok, perfect. Thank you. Just a, just a moment, it's, it's okay. Voilà. Mais ça va, merci. Oui. So, Let me start. I, I'm going to check. Here we go. So um, my presentation is going to be on our evaluation toolkit from concept to delivery. Um, next slide, please. So first, I will talk about media literacy in the UK um, and then a little bit about Ofcom. What did we learn? I think we learned that um, We knew this already. Evaluate, it bore out what we already knew, I think. Evaluation requires investment. Um, we included money um, for evaluation in, in, our, in our tenders. We included specialist support. But despite this, some of these small organizations really struggled to find times to do the evaluation alongside delivering their projects. Um, again, evaluation is challenging. They weren't necessarily comfortable with evaluation and its specialist language. Um, even with the support that they had. Um, people found it hard to come up with outcomes and write survey questions or you know, have a way of collecting data that mapped back onto the outcomes they'd come up with. They found it hard to write outcomes, um, write survey questions, and find indicators to measure this difference that they'd made. Um, we did a review of the toolkit as well, um, which is in part based on some of this work, and we are already updating the toolkit again um, because of because of these learnings. Um, and we also fundamentally found that measuring impact is tough for smaller organizations. Gathering long-term data from some of the cohorts was challenging for a range of reasons, staffing shortages, for the difficulty of getting back in touch with the people they work with. Um, so it takes us back to our original objective when we created the toolkit that smaller organizations felt better equipped to demonstrate impact and understand what it is. Um, I think that this work has taught us um, that We can definitely help them understand what it is, but whether we can help them demonstrate impact is another question. Um, so our key takeaways were that appropriate, appropriate evaluation methods are really contingent on the size of the organization and available budgets, and it's not realistic to expect smaller organizations to produce evaluations akin to large academic projects. Um, We are going to be sharing a report looking at the overall process um, in the summer, so there'll be more detail there. Um, we also found that measuring long-term outcomes and impact is crucial, but this was beyond the reach of these organizations. Um, and also that they engage best with evaluation when they understood the benefits it could bring them. Um, so what we needed and what they needed was different. Um, and models of reach, i.e. we reached 500 people, job done, are really entrenched and sometimes at direct odds with conversations about what we mean by impact. And it was very difficult to get away from conversations about numbers because we ourselves were being asked internally about how many people we had reached. Um, 
externally, we, we really wanted um, projects to um, understand what in, the difference between reach and impact. And I think that our overall takeaway is that it has to be proportionate. There's not a one size fits all approach to evaluation, and it, it just has to be tailored depending on um, the organization and what they are doing. Um, thank you very much. I'm aware of time. I'm sorry about the late start, um, but that's everything from me. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, Kate Morris. Uh, merci de votre attention. C'est vrai que uh, ce n'est pas simple toujours de suivre en anglais. Vous avez la traduction, hein, vous l'avez vu dans... Je ne sais pas si vous voulez qu'on la repasse, mais on la mettra de toute façon sur notre site. Et le pareil, tout l'outil euh, de l'OFCOM est euh, en français sur le site de l'ARCOM, hein, qui est l'autorité la, de régulation en France. Euh, ce sera, ça permettra de... On lira les deux, comme ça vous pourrez... Elle, donc, le, le compte, hein, euh, Kate Morris a raconté expliquer le contexte qui les a amenés à créer cette boîte à outils. Et euh, ben on vous laissera la, le plaisir de la découvrir. Euh, je ne sais pas si vous avez des questions ou si vous voulez que je repasse la... Oui. On a un super anglophone dans la salle euh, avec euh, le lycée Louvain en Belgique. C'est bon, il rien à faire. Hi Kate, um, this is Pierre Pastré from UC Levin. I don't know if you, oh, okay. <laughs> you can see, you can see me. Um, I, I, I had a question, so thank you for this very informative uh, presentation. I had a question about uh, the way the toolkit is actually um, uh, Closer. Okay. I have a question regarding the way the toolkit is actually used by the organizations. At least, the, I, I'm guessing that you have information about the way it was used by at least the first 13 organizations that participated in the, in kind of the piloting of the the toolkit. Um, my question is, since the toolkit leaves so many options uh, open regarding what to assess specifically in terms of media literacy, what what was the focus? Is there a trend? among these first organizations regarding the focus of the assessment, so what they, cho what they chose mm -hmm. to evaluate, uh, which would give us kind of a sense of w what, what are the hot topics in terms of what needs to be evaluated uh, yeah. uh, for media literacy inter inter interventions. Uh, thank you. Donc, la, la question étant, bah, dans, vu que la, la, la pano le panorama est très vaste, qu'est-ce qui a été choisi vraiment de, dans l'évaluation Thanks, Pierre. Um, very good question, um, and nice to see you again. Um, we are we are going through the responses and their evaluation reports now, and we will be publishing a report um, which outlines key, you know, key themes and, and key approaches um, and key outcomes that they decided to work with um, very shortly. So, sorry, it's it's a bit of a wait and see answer. So we we, we are in the process of thinking about it. So. I don't want to prejudge that, but um, we will be sharing that soon. And we're mindful that that will be useful. Um, but as you say, we're also really careful. We don't want to kind of impose a framework on anybody either, because we're very keen for people just to think about evaluation. And I, I have to say that most people don't. So what we don't want to do is go to an organization who's already doing something that perhaps has value in its community and say, well, if you're not working to these outcomes, you may as well stop. So I think that whatever we share, we'd we'll be careful to explain that we want it, we, you know, we want the utility of the toolkit to be on the kind of approaches. Um, we are, however, also producing um, a set of example outcomes, um, which again will be published in the summer, um, um, which are not supposed to be definitive, um, but they're examples that we think for some organizations it might be useful Um, because they, they're not sure what outcomes are, for example. So we'll say, okay, if your intervention is about spotting mis and disinformation, here are some example outcomes that you might think about using. But again, we're, we're, care we're trying to steer away from it being seen as a framework. But we're happy to share. I'll get in touch once we publish the report. Pierre, I'll send it to you. Si tu peux Thanks. dire en deux mots ce, qu a, ce que Kate a expliqué. Je peux m'improviser traducteur. Euh, 
première chose par rapport à ma question, les résultats, c'est-à-dire les, les, les retours des, des premiers usages de, du toolkit euh, sont en cours d'analyse, donc il euh, faudra attendre la publication prochaine d'un rapport à ce sujet. Euh, et le deuxième élément de réponse concernait le fait que le toolkit n'a effectivement pas pour ambition d'imposer euh, des acquis d'apprentissage particuliers, mais bien de laisser les choses ouvertes et, et de sensibiliser euh, les, les acteurs de l'éducation aux médias à la possibilité d'évaluer une variété de, de outcomes, donc de d'acquis d'apprentissage, euh, éventuellement en illustrant et en fournissant euh, des exemples de ce qui pouvait être évalué, mais sans imposer euh, une, une préconception de ce qui pourrait être évalué en termes de, de littératie médiatique. Voilà. Merci. Thanks, Pierre. Uh, thanks a lot for your interesting presentation. Uh, I saw in one of the first slides that you you've produced some uh, best principle guidelines for the online platforms. Can you tell us a bit more about that and specifically how it was received and used by these online platforms? Um, thank you. Yes, so these, these best practice principles are, they were created with some representatives who work for the main Kind of, we call we say platforms. We mean TikTok, X, you know, Meta, Google. There's also the gaming platform Roblox. Um, and we're also speaking to people like Reddit. Um, they were about um, the work that happens. For example, if you're on Facebook and you're about to click on something, and a, we call it a pop-up, something might appear on your screen some information saying do you want to read this do you want to click you know this information might be misinfo you know misinformation this might not be true so that's exactly what we're talking about here the experience of users when they're actually on a social media platform and what might happen there rather than any external intervention so that the the principles focused on how those should work how much you know for now we think there's limited that's limited so it was about expanding that we would like more of it to be done um and also we did talk about evaluation there because well notwithstanding how challenging it might be to evaluate someone's knowledge skills and behavior from interacting with that kind of information um they will obviously they can obviously look at behaviors so if they can see that somebody has interacted with some of these um you know, instructional pop-ups and, and, and kind of boxes on a website, and they can see if perhaps the next time they encountered that information, they didn't click or they thought twice. Um, we're really keen to encourage them to do that. They've got the information. So we're very keen for, to encourage that the platforms to do that work. Um, so it's an ongoing conversation. We've published them very recently, and the work now continues to talk to them. And I think it's probably fair to say that we, we, we have lots of conversations with people from the platforms and we're really keen to work with them. Um, and, and, but it's not a straightforward process. You know, it, 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 these are not legally binding. These are suggested guidelines. So um, I think we're waiting to see. You know, we're really hopeful that, that we can see some improvement, but we're waiting to see. Thanks a lot. It donc, enfin, pour le dire vite, le, donc c'est tout un ensemble de préconisations sur le design qui doit permettre aux individus de se rendre compte de, dans quoi ils vont mettre le doigt euh, s'ils cliquent sur un pop-up et ça va les amener à éventuellement regarder des informations qui ne sollicitaient pas ou qui sont discutables. Et pour l'instant, en fait, vous n'avez pas vraiment de retour et vous aimeriez bien que ça marche parce que ce n'est pas prescriptif, c'est de l'information. Enfin, c'est ce que j'ai compris en tout cas. Merci beaucoup. Thanks, Laurence. Je dis pop-up en français yes, aussi. Oui, je dis ça aussi. Thank you very much, Kate Morris. And uh, we go on with, uh, on continue avec uh, justement Pierre uh, Pastré de l'Université okay. Louvain pour uh, 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 expliquer l'approche qui a été faite uh, pour évaluer les actions d'éducation aux médias de, avec un point de vue uh, spécifique. Uh, 